For over two weeks, large wildfires have ravaged Northern California and Napa Valley. Now, state officials are declaring victory as California's two largest wildfires are finally under control. The Zog Fire, which is responsible for four deaths and 50,000 acres of devastation, has been fully contained. The Glass Fire, which destroyed 1,500 buildings and homes, is 96% contained. However, the damage of these catastrophes wasn't just limited to those areas. Clouds of smoke and ash spread throughout the state. Taylor Roberts, a resident of Palo Alto, which is a two-hour drive from Napa Valley, says even he was unable to get a breath of fresh air. The, the air quality was horrific. I mean, you know, you hear about places in the world like China and India that have the worst air quality. Um, and in California, on those specific weeks, it was worse. Now, though these fires may be dying down and citizens are finally able to breathe in a much-needed sigh of relief, the battle against climate change still remains. Low rates of precipitation and higher temperatures can turn a healthy forest like this one into a tinderbox fairly easily. And that has many scientists concerned about the future intensity and frequency of wildfires. The, the timing of rain and growth is such that areas that um, historically would have short rainy seasons have longer rainy seasons, and then they grow a lot of biomass. Then it dries out, right? the faucet turns off, and then there's a lot more stuff there to burn. At the end of the day, Professor Hamilton and others hope that these events raise awareness about the dangers of climate change and encourage stronger action. Reporting right here in Lexington, I'm Crawford Humphreys.